Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I want to show you how we would spend the day in Haarlem if we only had six hours. As we are from the Netherlands and used to live in Haarlem, we focus on a chill day with shopping, food and interior design. Our first stop is right in the beginning of the shopping street, the chocolate company. Here you can get a coffee, cake, cookies, tea, and yes, you guessed the chocolate. Especially on a colder day, a hot chocolate with some cream is very nice. In addition to this, you can also choose some kaliné in all sorts of flavors. We chose nougat, hazelnut and caramel for the way. Here the haul. And here the flavor check. Well, your guess is as good as mine. Schmutzi in the meantime made a new friend. Following down the street, we head towards the Battle Jorostrat, one of the bigger shopping streets here. Years ago, when I moved to the Netherlands, I even used to work here. The center of Harlem is very pedestrian friendly, as there are nearly no cars in the city center. Shopping here is especially interesting, as many small shop owners survive till today and inner city malls don't exist. Some great brands come from the Netherlands, like Sissy Boy, Rituals and Dille and Camille. But you also find your usual suspects like Lush and H&M. At the end of the Battle Jorostrat, we arrive at the market. As we are here on a Saturday, it's quite busy. The market plays a big role. Many people get their groceries here for the upcoming week, like cheese, bread, vegetables and fruits. And we like to get a Stropwaffel. Next to the market and overlooking the hustle, you can see the Grote Kerk. Check out my other video for more information. Down the next street, but still inside of the church, we have one of my favorite stores. It is not really hidden jam, but still easily to miss when you're surrounded by so many beautiful buildings. This would also be an alternative route back to the train station, but we are here to check out episodes. Not that I always find something to buy, but the second-hand concept makes me feel like I'm a student again. By the way, I got a sweater. It was not allowed to film in here, hence no shopping footage or mirror expressions. On the other side of the church, you can find these tiny stores built right onto the bigger buildings. So if you are looking for a watch or some necklaces, you could find it here. Some stores feel like a Pinterest clipboard and might hit your vibe. On the day we went, it was a pretty nice weather. A bit cold, but the sun was amazing. When you are here on a rainy day, just remember to not use an umbrella as the rain in the Netherlands is always joined by strong wind and you don't want to lose an eye trying to hold on to it. In this area and surrounding the church, you can find some nice restaurants and cafes, but we are not yet in the mood to follow up our chocolate. We want to explore this interior store. La Nena. If you see something you like, let me know in the comments. Maybe you spotted my favorite piece of decoration. And on we go to our next stop, Concrete Matters. This store I discovered first in Amsterdam, where they sold maps and stuffed animals, and still do on their website. I quite like the picnic blanket, but the purchase is still pending. Outside again, Schmutzi met his mini-me. And for us, next was Dille and Camille, a Dutch concept store that revives the traditional corner shop. For me, this is the perfect destination if I'm looking for a present, 
as you can find everything for the kitchen, bathroom, garden, and even toys. Listen, we tried to sell it, but he was not interested. Time for lunch! This unimpressive corner of the city and the parking garage doesn't look like much. But wait, only a few steps. Well, alternatively, you could also take the lift, but the waiting on the lift feels always waiting as long as it takes to go up these stairs. So, only a few steps and you arrive at the Dakkas, one of our favorite spots. With a view over the city and the delicious food, this is the perfect lunch place. Please ignore the snow and focus on the summer trip potential. Side note, Schmutzi was allowed inside and even got a bucket of water. We started with a homemade lemonade, followed by a hot dog cordemaya and an onion cake. To follow up with a coffee, we went to Jules, a cafe on the corner next to the Dakkas. We drank a filter coffee and a matcha latte. After recharging our batteries for a while, we headed towards the city center again. We came along this little shop. It contains everything a stationary lover would want. But a little side note, only enter with the intention to buy, as browsing only is not allowed. Across the street and right before the market, you can find another interior shop. Across the market again and to the left, we follow the stalls to have our final coffee break of today. This place is called Bai Lima and it's a great option for especially if you're vegetarian, vegan or if you have to watch out for gluten. For our last stop of today, we are again in the Bataillorestraat to visit Bolia. Bolia is a furniture and lifestyle store. Here you can get inspired to create your own personal spaces. Their reimagined Scandinavian design are absolutely stunning. Hashtag not sponsored. But if you're listening, Bolia, I'm right here. Yeah? Just saying. And with that, our six hours come to a close. Going out for a little shopping day is great, and especially in Harlem, a lot of fun. If you liked what you saw, join us on our next trip. And if you don't want to miss it, leave a like and subscribe. Till next time.